the time has come for a decision uh, so that at the next debate, uh, if he does decide to get in, there'll be six podiums on the, on the stage. That's Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman, John Podesta, telling Joe Biden, time, either get in, get out, make a decision if you're running. Hillary's strong debate performs complicating things for Biden reportedly because she's looking even stronger now. All right, um, Dom, we all agreed uh, she helped herself um, mm -hmm. uh, on debate night here. Nobody will go on the record, apparently, that, that are close, but the money looks far less likely now that he gets in. Do you think he waited too long, Biden? No, I mean, realistically, what, what could he have done? Could he really have jumped in there at this late stage of the game without the money, without the support, Hillary's lining up delegates and so on? I just, I never saw the math that added up to Biden entering this race to begin with. Well, you can do that, and I'm not comparing the two, but you do the Trump logic, which is he didn't have an infrastructure. He didn't have, no, he, well, he hasn't yeah. spent a lot of money. <laughs> he know, obviously has name recognition. <laughs> My point is he'd walk in, and she was very vulnerable before that debate. You can, I'm sure Bill's going to argue she's still very vulnerable now. Democrats seemingly wanted an alternative. If she flopped um, in Vegas, like the card pun, she could have, uh, wasn't there a bit pathway for him to get in? There, there was a little, the door was open a little bit, but boom, it's been closed shut. It's over and done with. He's always wanted to run. There's no doubt about it. You know, he was looking for that. And maybe, maybe as a sitting president for vice president for two terms, maybe he should have been, you know, allowed yeah, but, to run. But, but Joe Biden is no Richard Brodsky. I mean, he's, he's not going to step no in and Donald shake up Trump. the field. And he's no Trump. Joe Biden's not going to shake up the field. He wasn't going to be Hillary. There never was he a wasn't reason. Gonna, I'm trying to insult your for a yes. Biden candidacy. Richard, you know, exactly. this exactly. guy has been exactly. on a, he's been on a string of, of good points yeah, in the last. Yeah, I know. Uh, he's really, he's been on a point. You know what you can't take a compliment. Don't give something yeah. about a blind squirrel. <laughs> the, the only yeah. reason was Hillary is falling off the edge of the cliff. She, yes. That didn't happen. She's stable. He's a very good guy. He's not going to run. There, there never was a, that was never a likely outcome. Mm -hmm. That being said, I think the Democrats helped themselves at the debate in, immensely as a field merely mm -hmm. by showing up as not crazy when you look at the, with all due respect, <laughs> which isn't a lot, the, 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 the notion that that field, that field is a crazy field in the Republican side. I could have sworn I'd read that online somewhere. Yes, That's in the Huffington uh, Post. Um, but the thing is, I think you're also seeing an indication, if Podesta is going, to, going on CNN and saying, look, it's put up or shut up time for Joe Biden, that gives you some indication that they're a little concerned about Joe Biden should they get in the race, and they're trying to pressure him out. Uh, not that he's and threatened to get And you could have point. argued but how she go, went after him. But Destiny didn't need to put his foot on Biden's you, you, neck you, you, this morning on CNN. And there's did. a reason for that. You didn't, you're not, you, the, the, Joe Biden isn't going to be pressured to run or pressured not to run. He's going to make the decision based upon his family situation and the political realities. But you, you know as well as I do, Richard, decisions. that Clinton wanted to put up a good enough performance in the debate to make sure that Biden didn't get in. And we've got Podesta the day after the debate basically saying put up or shut up, Tom. Clinton doesn't want Biden in this race for one reason or another. Now, I think she did enough to make sure he doesn't get in. But oh, well, you, me, you, can't argue that, right, you can't argue that she doesn't right, want Let's that agree. I think we've got a consensus. He's probably not going to run if he does. It would certainly be an uphill battle. However... To Richard's point, and he's not the only one making it, even though he wrote it, that there was a major comparison between the distinction between the two parties. One was a food fight, and the other one, even though you had lightweights on the pole on the corners, you can argue, uh, it was on policy. Huge numbers, but the Republican numbers were record-setting in terms of viewers, while the Democrats, again, 15 million people, a lot of people, high, yeah. but a fraction of what the Republicans was. Does that reflect anything? Whether it's interest, America just wants reality TV, they get that from Trump, they didn't get that in the Vegas debate for the Democrats. What do you make, now that you have two samples to look at, what does it say about the parties and about the public interest? I, I think, I think you know, Trump explains the Republican side, certainly. Uh, on, the, on the Democratic side, I think a lot of, 15.3 is a, is a million, is a lot yep. of people to, to watch that debate. I think people wanted to see what a damaged Hillary Clinton would look like and they didn't get it. They got Hillary Clinton that they remember. They got smiling Hillary Clinton, very competent Hillary Clinton, comfortable Hillary Clinton, and, and they probably like what they got. I don't think the next debate will have as many viewers. The, the interesting thing for me was that you had four people competing for the Democratic nomination and Jim Webb standing out as the best Republican <laughs> in a field of 18. <laughs> right. I mean, if you really wanted to, to, as a Republican, to, 
nominate someone who could give the Democrats trouble, nominate Just talk about yeah. 10 minutes for Jim Webb. I want to get really quick. The next big political thing, Andrew, is going to be the Benghazi hearings, mm -hmm. okay? Forget the debates. I think most people argue, um, you know, she handled this pretty well the last go-round here. Yeah. Where's her biggest vulnerability? Let me say it a different way. Do you think she looks forward to these hearings? Is this just a chance to mess up? Or does she see this as a possibility like the last time where she can help herself? I think she's looking at this as an enormous positive opportunity. I mean, she knows what the questions are going to be that she's going to get from that panel. She knows that she has some ammunition to smack back with some of the comments that we've heard from not just Kevin McCarthy, but from some other Republicans who have indicated that the whole purpose of this committee is, in fact, to tarnish her reputation. She's already been successful at smacking them down once or twice before in her appearances before this committee. I think she looks at this as an opportunity to really put her mark and put these issues behind her. Bill, you know the emails are going to bleed into this, right? Um, would your advice to Republicans be tread carefully or throw the haymaker? I think go right at it aggressively and don't be afraid to don't be afraid to 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 get mangled by Hillary because she's very good at this. She is the best I've ever seen at at widely like w widely waving things off or laughing off things. You know, she can laugh off a lot of detail. She she can she can harumph and get and and make things go away better than I've ever you, seen anybody do. You can, she can't be allowed to do that. You this time. can only do that when the underlying accusation is nonsense. She killed Vince Foster. She was yeah, on the ridiculous. take in Whitewater. She the, 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 she killed people in Ven, Benghazi. She's you know. At some point, you guys are going to learn think, I think what you need that to do you is, need an actual no, no, no. grounded accusation you need to before the, you can make this political. What you need to do is take the statements that Hillary Clinton has made and line them up next to one another and say which of these is true. Tom, same question I asked him. Is this danger spot for her or is this thing going to help her? Not at all. Andrew's assessment is correct. I believe that she will leave these Benghazi hearings as the inevitable nominee. I think that... First of all, if they had a smoking gun, we would have heard it by now. Second of all, they I think can't... I the first time that should be pressed by an adversary, right, not right, by right, the right, right, emails, because right. they're going to get into this. No, 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 but, but remember, they've, they've shot themselves in the foot, the committee members, yeah, starting with, with McCarthy, McCarthy uh, right. several times. Yep. So I really think she's going to close the nomination process with these Benghazi yeah, hearings. It'll you be think she was good on well, Tuesday. Well, what, if anything, right. they've got right. on the emails, because that, that, that they won't be able to sit on Dominic was almost... Correct. He, he, he You're just not going to let me go to that, that part of his, with the anatomy that they shot themselves in. All right. They, and quickly oh, moving uh, on because what? I don't want to go somewhere else. Is that a good one? Uh, no. Uh, no, no. No. Up next, we'll get into some New York stories. And we're going to start off with Shelly Silver refusing to take a plea deal. And as you can imagine, that's making a whole lot of folks in Albany both curious and some very nervous. Then, Bill de Blasio taking flack for telling if you've heard this one before, leaving the city yet again. New Yorkers are telling the mayor, why don't you stay put here instead of heading out on yet another trip? Um, and it's not the first time he's gotten heat for this before. Stay with us.